I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand the meaning of rounding numbers to hundreds. When you round numbers to hundreds, what do you get? You get uh, some numbers like 200, you may get numbers like 500, you may get numbers like bigger numbers like let's say 200, 2600, you may get uh, uh, 25,700 you may get even much bigger numbers as let's say 1 million to 56,300 now in all these numbers what you notice is that we have zeros in two positions the first position where the zero is is the ones position right so in ones position we have zero and also in tens position we have zero so whenever you round to hundreds this is what you should be getting okay ones and tens position should definitely have zeros so after rounding to hundreds we know what our result should be now we will see how to round numbers to hundreds so let's write down few numbers uh, let's say we want to round some number to 200 in that case we can take a number which is let's say 185 this will round to 200 also we could take a number uh, which is like 249 this number also rounds to 200 let us see how and why now when we say rounding to 200 that means what we have two numbers here 185 and 249 on a number line let us say we have 100 at this position this is 100 for us and this position is 200 for us in that case and let's say uh, 300 is after that somewhere here okay let me extend this uh, line okay now in this particular case 185 will be where 100 150 is in the center 185 will be closer to 200 let's say this number is 185 now since this number is closer to 200 we round it to 200 on the other hand if you consider the number 249 it is midway almost midway but closer to 200 right? let's say this is 250 so the number is slightly before that so that is the number which could be 249 since this is closer to 200 it also rounds to 200 so these numbers we see they round to 200 so that is what you saw in the number line but what you can also check is the numbers in tens position so if you check number in tens position tens position you will know exactly how to round in our case if I take 185 number in tens position is 8 right 80 right? 80 is closer to 100 so one more do you see that so if you check number in tens position and if the number is 5 or more then what happens then you round higher then you round higher but if the number is less than 5 in that case you round lower so you are in between let's say 200 and 300 and if you have a number where the tens position is less than 5 then you round lower for example here tens position is 4 less than 5 you round lower if I have a number which is for example 
on the right side of 250 or even 250 let's say let's take number 270 now, this number 10th position is 7 which is higher than 5 will round higher to 300 you get the idea so that is key rule now we'll adopt this key rule and do some more rounding let me take a bigger number now let us say we have a number 2632 now to round this number we will check the number at tens place tens place number is 3 since it is lower than 5 it rounds lower and so what do we get we get 2600 you get an idea if I have a number let me write a bigger number still 256300 57. Now we have to round this number to nearest hundreds. The number on tens position is 5. Do you see that? So you have to only check the number in tens position. If it is 5 or more, you round higher. So that number becomes higher. So it becomes 256. All these remain same but 3 changes to 4 and 2 zeros. Rounding to 100 means you should always get some 100. That means 1s and 10 positions should be 0. You get an idea, right? So that is how you should be rounding the numbers. Now here are a few practice questions for you. I'm rounding the numbers. I'm writing the numbers here. You round them to nearest 100. So you round them to nearest 100. Okay. So the numbers for you are, let me write down here. Let's make a table. Uh, let's say 300. 45, 6, 20, 500, we can write 1500, 12, 6, 40. You need to round these numbers to nearest 100. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my answers. 345, tens places 4, less than 5, therefore this rounds to lower 300. 620, tens position is lower than 5, it rounds lower 600. 1500, this is 0, it rounds lower 1500. So what you notice here is that the number remains same. Most of the time the number changes, but in some cases, if already 10s and 1s position is 0, it remains same. In this particular case, 4 is lower than 5 and therefore again this number also rounds lower to 600, 12,600. Do you see? So all these examples which I gave are the examples where in tens position we have a number which is less than 5 and therefore they round lower. Now let me give you another set of examples where the numbers in tens position will be more than 5. They will be rounded higher. For example, 657, 5 or more, 760, just 760, 6 is more than 5, okay, 975 and 12, 9, 6, 4. 6 is more than 5, so they round higher. These are tricky ones. 1 higher means this will be 0, 1 carry forward, 13,000. Here, this will be 1,000. And the last, this is, so let me write down the answers. This will be higher, 700. Higher, 800. Higher, 1,000. Higher, 13,000. Okay, now think about it. How did we get 13,000, 1,800, 700? Only because tens position had a number which was 5 or more, so we had a higher number while rounding to hundreds. That is how we do it. I hope the concept is clear. We will take few more videos for you to practice. Thank you and all the best.